So let's see if you have the math skills to solve this interesting little math word problem. Now, a lot of you are going to think you're going to do this problem correctly, but in fact, a lot of you are going to do this wrong. But uh, let's see if you can figure this thing out. Let me go ahead and read the prompt to you. It is the following. A car travels 15% faster than a truck. If the car's speed is 82 miles per hour, what is the truck's speed? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. And again, this problem is going to uh, tend to confuse a lot of people. They're going to take a certain approach and think that they did it right, but in fact, they will do it wrong. So you certainly want to stay tuned to see the answer and the full solution. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So first things first, first we have a math word prompt. So you always want to use the rule of three. Read a prompt at least three times before you start taking any action and really make sure you understand what the question is. So this car travels faster than a truck. Matter of fact, it travels 15% faster than a truck. And the car's speed is 82 miles per hour. We're looking for the truck's speed. So let me just ask you, intuitively speaking here, do you think the truck is going to be going slower or faster than the car? Well, if the car travels faster, well, then obviously the truck's miles per hour or its speed will be less than 82 miles per hour. And hopefully you figured that out just from the beginning of this question. But um, what you want to do here is model this situation. That is the best thing uh, to solve any math pro uh, problem is to try to model it or visualize the problem. And I think a nice, lovely sketch of a car and a truck is a good opportunity to kind of see this problem in action. Okay, so it doesn't have your um, sketch doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but as long as you can visualize the problem, I think you know that really helps uh, most of us, you know, kind of see the solution. So here we have this car; it's going faster than a truck, and the car is going 82 miles per hour, and the truck is going well. We don't know x miles per hour, but we do know that the a car speed is 15% faster than the truck. So the objective here is to figure out the truck's speed. Now, let me show you what I think is probably the most common mistake. So some of you might be saying, well, all right, 82 miles per hour, this car is going 15% uh, faster. Okay, the car is going 15% faster than the truck. So maybe if I take 100% and uh, and, uh so try, or subtract 15% from 100%, in other words, I have 85%, maybe the truck is going 85% of what the car is traveling, okay? I mean, that kind of makes sense, but let's go ahead and do that math and see if this works out. All right, so if we take 15% and subtract it from 100%, then well, that's 85%. So maybe the truck is going 85% of what the car is traveling. Well, let's go ahead and figure out what 85% of 82 miles per hour is. So how do you find the percent of a number? Well, easy. All we have to do is convert or write that percent as a decimal. And uh, the way we do that is divide by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. So this is 85.0%. So the decimal point is right here. So we just move that over two places to the left or divide by 100. So that's 0.85. Okay, so we're going to take this 85% expressed as a decimal and multiply it by 82. So 0.85 times 82 is approximately 69.7 miles per hour. Now, this appears to be a good answer, right? It's slower than uh, the car speed, and it makes sense. But let's see if this is right, okay? So let's uh, say, all right, well, if this is the truck speed and the car is going 15% faster than the truck, well, th uh, this math should add out to um, 82 miles per hour, right? So let's go ahead and find 15% of this speed right here. So 15% of 69.7, of course, we'll um, uh, change this 15% to 0.15. So when we do this, we're going to get 
10.455 miles per hour. That's 15% of 69.7. So when we add these two, okay, we should get back to 82 miles per hour. But look what happens here. Okay, what happens is we get 69.7 plus the uh, 10.455 which is 15% of the 69.7, we only get back to 80.15. Now, a lot of you might be saying, well, that's close enough, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, you know, uh, yes, it's kind of close, but unfortunately, it's wrong. And uh, some of you might be saying, ah, this is why I don't like math. You see, you're making things more complex. No, we want to do things right. So how can we actually solve this problem correctly? Well, we're going to have to use our friend algebra. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the uh, the truck's speed. We don't know what the truck's speed is. So when you don't know a value of something, let's use a variable to represent that value. So let's let x equal the truck's speed. Okay, so now we know that the car is going 82 miles per hour, and it's 15% faster than the truck. So if the truck is going X miles per hour, okay, that's how fast the truck's going. Uh, well, the car is going to be going 15% faster. So we have to find 15%, which is 0.15 of the truck speed. So we'll take that 15% and multiply it by the truck speed. So this is the increase in speed. So the truck speed plus 15 uh, more percent is the car speed. So X plus 0.15 X is equal to 82. All right, so hopefully you understand this equation. And if you're saying, yes, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I get this. Well, then the only thing we need to do is to solve this equation. Now, before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So we're going to be precise about uh, solving this problem, right? So if, although finding 85% of 82 made sense and the answer was pretty close. It seemed like a reasonable answer. When we double checked it, it was incorrect. So let's see how we do with this uh, setup here. So X plus 0.15 X. So again, this is the truck speed plus 15% more of that 15% uh, additional of the truck speed is the car speed, which is 82 miles per hour. So we have X plus 0.15 X. Now here, we need to be clear that there is a coefficient. This is x or 1x. So we have like terms. So we're going to add 1 and 0.15. Uh, so 1 plus 0.15 gives us 1.15x is equal to 82. And to solve this basic equation, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 1.15. And of course, use your calculator. So 82 divided by 1.15, we get x is equal to 71.3 miles per hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this uh, answer uh, through the check and just make sure it is correct. So here is our truck. Now, if the truck is going 71.3 miles per hour and the car is going 15% faster than the truck, and of course, we know the car speed is 82 miles per hour, let's go ahead and uh, see if this, in fact, is true. All right, so here's the truck speed, 71.3 miles per hour. 15% of 71.3 is going to be 0.15 times 71.3, and that's going to be about 10.695. All right, so let's add these up. So 71.3 plus 10.695 gets, gets us to 81.995 miles per hour. I think that's close enough to say, you know what? I think I did it right. I think Mr. Uh, 
the uh, uh, you know solution is correct. And when you have an opportunity, this is uh, for you students out there that are taking a test quiz or exam, never, ever, 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 okay, turn in your exam early. Okay, I have seen this countless times. Matter of fact, I'll show you a little depiction of it. Uh, here is a student, and they are very happy because they believe they are the top student in the classroom, and they're turning in their test early. So here is the clock. Here is the start time. And they're like, watch me, I'm going to do this uh, one hour exam in 10 minutes, and they turn it in their exam. That is the worst possible thing you can, you can do. Now, um, although you may have finished your test, you're like, you know, you're whizzing through these problems, you're like, I know exactly what I'm doing, da, 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 da. You always, always, always want to assume that you made an error someplace, okay? Every single person that does mathematics or science, every person is human, okay? You will make mistakes even if you know what you're doing. Uh, you can just simply get uh, distracted or lose focus. So you want to take that extra time, okay, and always grade your exam. You want to look for errors. You want to be a little bit paranoid about working, and that's why it's so important uh, that you show your steps, you write clearly, neatly, and you got to create these habits. If not, you'll uh, easily miss something. It's just, it's normal to make mistakes, but the key is to catch those mistakes before you turn in your work. Okay, now if you uh, need more help with percent and basic algebra and the like, check out my various courses. I'm going to leave links to them uh, in the description. Uh, uh, one of my most popular courses is my math foundation course. So if you've been away from math, for some time and you just want to relearn basic math, check out my Math Foundations course. That's a little mini course to kind of get you started with uh, basic mathematics, percent, fractions, etc. Now, if you want um, a, little bit, a little bit more of a long range uh, challenge in terms of uh, relearning your math skills that maybe you forgot many years ago, check out my new course. It's called Math Skills Rebuilder. In that course, I teach you basic mathematics, okay, arithmetic, fractions, percent, all that kind of good stuff. And then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, uh, some basic trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. All my courses are self-paced. But uh, anyways, that's where you can find my full instruction. But I have a ton of free content on my YouTube channel that I made just for you. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.